Welcome along guys. Well these days everyone's on about modern retros. I have managed to get my hands on the, in my opinion, the ultimate modern retro. Just take a look at the Velocity Moto 900LC. I've had this for about a week from Velocity Moto and I've had an absolute scream on this bike. It is based on the XSR 900, the Yamaha obviously, which is a great little platform. Uh, an 850cc bike, reasonably priced, nine grand brand new, 190 kilos wet, so it's a light bike. It's actually only four kilos heavier than the original LC <laughs> and this thing has a hundred I think about a hundred and ten brake horsepower which is all which is double and some of the original LC so that is a perfect recipe for a bit of fun so Velocity Moto is a small company based in Guildford area They've been manufacturing these for a couple of years. I, I've followed them on Instagram for a while. It's quite an interesting company. They do all sorts of stuff, which is a bit out there, a bit different. They're very much a, an engineering background, you know, with some molding, with all the skills needed to produce this type of custom machine. So these days, you'll see them everywhere. Every manufacturer has their own retro naked bike, you know. They are literally everywhere. Suzuki's just brought out the Katana, which is a great bike. I did like that. It's you know, it's a, what they call it is retro inspired. So it's inspired by the 80s Katana. This one has parts molded directly from the original. <laughs> so this looks beyond anything else you can buy as far as retro looks go. And I'm sure I've had people waving at me. I've been pulled up at petrol stations and people come over and go, oh, I had one of these back in the day. It's like people really do think this is an original LC. Okay, the original LC didn't have the cowl. I think that's more from the YPVS versions, but it looks so authentic. It's not until you start it up that people start to wonder. The clocks on this are the standard XR clocks on the right hand side. A Tom Tom Vio on the left hand side, so you've got the twin dial affair. Um, a custom carbon fibre clock bit bezel. So these are all moulded, all the carbon fibre on this bike is all specific to Velocity Moto. The centre piece is a Velocity Moto piece, so is the bezel here. So that all comes as part of the kit, I believe. Well, there could be extra, I may need to check that. But that gives you that authentic twin clock looks. And the integrated sat nav is a nice touch. Colour touch screen on the TomTom -tom sat nav. You didn't get that on the original LC. This bike also has a full Akropovich system. It also has a power commander to clean up the fueling. And the fueling on this is perfect. Absolutely spot on. And it sounds incredible, pops and bangs, okay, it's not a two-stroke, obviously. Oh dear, oh dear, we have the traction control on. We don't want none of that. We don't want none of that spoiling our fun. TC off. That's more like it. Massive power wheelies in first to second. <laughs> That is incredible! Oh, this bike also has the optional KTEC suspension. So this has the cartridge kit in the front. 
and a K-Tech rear shock just to sharpen up that handling because the original XRS it doesn't have a brilliant suspension what you do find on this is it still has a bit of flex in the frame so as you're banging it around the corner it does tend to weave and bobble a little bit but I think that just adds to the authentic experience <laughs> This bike is an absolute hoot. Absolute hoot! I love it! <laughs> you can buy this kit complete, built on the bike, which I think is about 12 grand to buy an XSR brand new with all this LC kit fitted already. Or you could buy this in kit form. I think it's around, I'll put all the prices and uh, links in the description of below, but from memory I think it's about £1,600 for the kit, including the cowl, the side panels, the rear tail section. Um, that's unpainted, if you want it painted it's an extra £900, or I think it's about two and a half grand for the complete kit, painted in your preferred colours. The front goes so light when you give it a bit of power. And I think it could get quite twitchy quite easily as well. All of that LC character. Front brakes are upgraded. This has a Brembo RCS front master cylinder with the standard XSR calipers and discs. And I must say, it delivers so much feel and power. I've been really quite impressed with that. That could be a worthwhile upgrade just the master cylinder again you can get all that spec to your bike when you buy it so there it is it looks absolutely incredible let me get on the other side look look at it i mean how nice does that look i mean how authentic does that look oh so let's walk through it so xrs 900 basically the xrs 900 tank it's the standard tank obviously resprayed Genuine LC350 side panels, genuine remoulded LC350 tail section, remoulded rear lights, um, genuine remoulded, not remoulded, but remanufactured grab rail. The seat is a Velocity Moto piece, which they make. Looks genuine, looks 100% genuine. The front cowl is RD350. But I don't think the original LC came with that cow. It was an option. I'm not entirely sure. Um, and that the mudguard is the standard XR900 mudguard, all repainted. But the overall effect is truly incredible and more than reminiscent of the original. It's not until you see them side by side you sort of notice the big differences. This is the pre-preg carbon fibre centrepiece available. From Velocity Moto, that is manufactured by a company that actually makes a lot of Formula One carbon fiber. They're the cat their clocks. That is a proper, again, pre preg, <laughs> can't say that word, carbon fiber clock display. Fantastic, love the look of those, brilliant. The bracketry for the front cow, this is all manufactured, it's all CNC machined, bracket for the headlight and for mounting the cow. That's all part of the kit. This particular bike has had the, as I mentioned, the K-Tech suspension, K-Tech uh, fork cartridges, but they've also obviously painted the lower part of the forks. Full Akopovich on this one, which is only about a thousand pound on these. It's not like your ridiculous sum of money, like some of them are, but that sounds amazing. Below these covers, I think, is just like the fuse box and a lot of the wiring boxes, um, but there's no way of uh, avoiding those. This one has the Brembo RCS front master cylinder, which really improves the brakes, I have to say. I love it. I, it's something I could be really tempted with, you know? And what better way than to buy one of the, say you buy just to buy a second hand XRS 900, buy the kit, paint it in the colors you want. What a great project. And all the little touches which have been done on this bike, like the forks repainted, the wheels done, all the little extras you can do over time to make a truly, you know, like a truly incredible custom all built to your exact requirements and i think it's amazing i think it is absolutely incredible i love it oh trash controls back on again 
that's the only annoyance with this whenever you stop and turn it on and off the traction control comes back on again if this was mine I'd have to find some way of permanently disabling that tickle that clutch in second and you're in a world of wheelie fun the thing I love about this bike is it just makes you feel it's just fun it just brings a smile to your face it, and the thing that's what you know that's what the original 350 did the original LC was all about shits and giggles and this is no different the beauty of this is of course it's got all of those retro looks with all of that modern reliability that's why these new retro bikes make so much sense it's all very well you can go and pick yourself up an original LC I had a look on eBay you get a nice off about six grand but you can't take that to work every day you can't go out and razz its nuts off <laughs> three times a week because it'll blow up you can put it in the garage and polish it and look at it yeah Little drop of go-go juice while we're here. Oh, bloody traction again! There we go. Why aren't manufacturers doing this? Why are they rehashing originals, giving them a modern twist? Never mind modern twist bit of it. <laughs> Just get it as original looking as possible with all the modern reliability that's what we want you're so authentic you want to keep it bubbling in the power bands I can almost smell that two stroke <laughs> incredibly impressed with this what an awesome bit of fun what an awesome fun bit of kit this is if you want to know more details have a look at Velocity Moto's website like I say you can buy these through some Yamaha dealers they're looking to extend that but you can buy this in kit form you can buy that you can buy the parts into bit you can buy this however you want to buy it Every, all options are available but have a look at their Vosti Moto site I think it's fantastic I can't recommend it enough it's an incredibly good looking amazing package I mean I've never actually ridden an XSR 900 and I've been well impressed with this I've ridden an MT-09 of course which is very very similar to this and it could be that this kit will fit on an MT-09 I don't know it's possible Velocity Moto will be able to tell you but I've been so impressed I love this little XSR and obviously this has got the power command and this has got the full system but it just goes to show what a great bike this is but I've never really been sold on the looks of a lot of these all of the bikes which all of the Yamahas which have this engine sh engine and chassis combinations I'm not that keen on the looks they're very Marmite but with this bodywork on what a fan it completes the package it makes a fantastic bike look amazing as well i know not everyone will agree with that i know there'll be comments saying oh the m209 looks brilliant but i just think this retro look 350 lc <laughs> inspired look is amazing so check them out velocity moto links in description i'm gonna go off and do some more wheelies see you there guys <laughs> Oh,
This is power level one, which is full power. Absolutely bonkers. It's also pretty quick. 